Welcome to this radio video and this is once again another video in our series of the radio mumbo jumbo what's you know these button means and what are these um, you know expressions and abbreviations and what do they mean and today we're going to talk about some radios have NB as you see here my icon says NB but I'll have another one here this is a CB radio and you see that it's got something called ANL and you see that NB is also written here. This one has both uh, terminologies, NB and ANL, but my radio has only NB. And what's that? NB is for noise blanker, ANL is for automatic noise limiter. Typically, a noise blanker and an automatic noise limiter does pretty much the same job and its job is to try and limit certain types of interference. Now a lot of people tell me, you know what, I put the noise blanker on and I don't see a difference and that's because the noise blanker or the automatic noise limiter is extremely specific on the type of noise that it will remove and that type of noise that it wants to remove is typically the electric motor noise, you know, an ignition type noise in a car, for example. Uh, CB radios that are meant for cars often have this because a lot of cars actually emit pulses coming from the, uh, you know, spark plugs and so on in the motor. Uh, all that motor running actually creates regular pulses of noise that are you know pretty much on a frequency and you know when you accelerate if your car goes faster you'll notice that the, pul the pulses are actually faster quicker and if it actually goes slower or an electri electric motor at home does pretty much the same thing now really fast motors will typically just do like a blank white noise but a lot of motors when the brushes touch and you know they create these really really small sparks well that actually creates pulses of noise and the noise blanker or automatic noise limiter mostly mostly will affect that they were designed to ID and you know check for pulses on the radio frequencies that you're tuning to and the circuit actually removes the pulses or will attenuate the pulses. Very often if you have electric noise pulsing what is going to happen is you press your NB or noise blanker button or ANL button what's going to happen you'll see that they're still there but they're attenuated they're very very weak compared to when you didn't have that automatic noise limiter there. So they, you know, often help in that type of noise. Where it doesn't really help, a noise blanker usually is not that much of help for most of the noises that we have today on the bands. Uh, a noise blanker is of pretty much ineffective with all the electronic noise we have. And the noise blanker has a negative side also, is that it also affects the signals you receive. For example, if you listen to a single sideband signal, somebody talking, well the noise blanker doesn't make a difference. It, there's no intelligence in the noise blanker. It's simply a circuit that cuts pulses or certain types of electronic pulses or noise. And you know what? When somebody talks in single sideband, for example, the fact that it starts and stops in a regular interval, well, the noise blanker might actually try to attenuate this, thinking that it's electronic noise. So usually, when no noise, um, no, you know, no noise of the type that a noise blanker will actually uh, remove is present on the bands, we tend to take it off we tend to remove the noise blanker from the circuit because it does 
help in making a little more distortion on the signals you're listening to. So very often you'll put the noise blanker in a situation where the type of noise that it has will uh, be removed but when there's no noise present or if you know that the noise that's present and usually what people do is that if they hear an interference they'll put the ANL or noise blanker on and you'll see if there's a difference and if you see no difference typically very often you turn it off and uh, the, the reason you'll turn it off is because you don't want that circuit to distort any signals you're listening to. Uh, on pulse type noise I'm gonna tell you noise blankers are amazing. Um, I've seen situations where I had some pulse type interference and the noise blanker typically removed it almost totally and um, even though this noise blanker is on an IN radio you know what even cheap radios sometimes have one um, especially in the 80s there was it, it was a very popular thing Auto, automatic noise limiters for example my old uh, DX100 realistic DX100 my first shortwave radio add an ANL an automatic noise limiter and you know what in the 80s pulse interference was extremely extremely um, easy to get you'd often I, I remember having cars just pass by in the street and while they were passing in front of the house uh, you'd have pulses in the radio and you know what the noise blanker was good for that and you know what it, it even worked <laughs> interestingly well um, I remember uh, on my DX302 when there was uh, that woodpecker uh, radar in the 80s uh, the noise the automatic noise limiter or the noise blanker actually worked in reducing the woodpecker noise because it's a pulse so it was this kind of circuit that actually could remove that type of signal um, what if you don't have a noise blanker or automatic noise limiter I'd say that in 2015 it's one of those circuits that's still there but doesn't do that much anymore because the noise sources and the noises that we have on the bands is just so uh, different in nature and basically a noise blanker today and a noise blanker in the 80s still does pretty much the same thing that has not evolved really much it's still there mostly for pulse type interference from electric motors and stuff like that and it doesn't really do much for the general noise in the uh, spectrum the radio spectrum itself so that's what it means when you see either NB or ANL automatic noise limiter noise blanker pretty much the same thing hope you enjoy this series on learning the uh, you know terminology and abbreviations used in radio and we're going to continue on we'll have lots of videos of different terminology used and uh, see what it means so thanks for watching